Oh, there's color. You got color? Oh yeah. Is that a mutton? Big grouper. <laughs> Big black grouper. No, red. 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 Beast. Beast of a red group. Holy smokes! <laughs> Damn! We got a new prototype. This right here is the Kraken electric reel by PC Fun. I believe it's their first electric reel. And we're gonna spool it up and then we're gonna go offshore. We're gonna try to do some deep dropping with it. PC Fun has been a long sponsor of this channel and their reels are quality and affordable. So I'm really excited to see what the electric reel is. I'm going to be spooling it up with 80 pound braid, which is an overkill. I also have 30 pound braid, but that's an underkill. Ideally, I would like to put 40 pound braid or 50 pound braid on here and eventually I will, but I'm just gonna slap a bunch of 80 pound line on it. I believe it holds 500, wait, I got the spec sheet. All right, where's the specs? Right here. Those are all the specs of the electric reel if you wanna pause the video and look at them. But it says that it has a momentary max drag of 48 pounds, which is massive. Max drag is 33 pounds, which that's still massive. And the braid capacity is 545 yards of 40 pound braid. For how small this reel is, that is a lot. That's a lot of drag, that's a lot of line for a very small reel, so we're gonna put it to the test. PC Fun also has this, I believe it's a lithium ion battery that plugs right into the back of this, so you don't have to plug this electric reel to a battery or something like your uh, traditional cables. This is what I use on my other electric reels. Ah. Positive, negative, that end plugs to a battery. And then this plugs into the back of the electric reel right there. So traditional, this is to hook it up to a battery. And then this is its own power supply. So we're gonna test both of these out. I will bring the battery cord just as a backup because you never know what happens out there. And let's get to spooling. I just put the uh, the Kraken reel on this uh, deep drop bent but pretty heavy duty rod. Probably too heavy duty of a rod for this reel. But it's the only one I got right now. I think I just heard someone pull up. Oh, ho, ho. Dan is here. Alright, cool. That's right guys. Special treat, Dan is joining us today. Maybe he can help me spool this up. But I put this spool in a bucket. We're gonna feed the line through the rod. You wanna make sure there's a, there's a line feeder. It's a little hole down there. You wanna make sure that your line goes through that. Boom, just like that or a line guide. I'm not sure what the exact terminology for that is. And then there's this little knob on this spool and that is what we want to tie this line to. Let's go fishing. Yeah, let's go fishing. Let's go. But first I got to spool up this oh, reel. Shoot. Okay. Well, it's electric, so at least you don't have to. Yeah, it should go fast. Right. Nice looking reel, by the way. That's yeah. A, that's a pretty reel. Yeah, you like it? I do. I know. We'll we'll see how it performs. Gotcha. I have it's a prototype. It's gotcha. not even a it's not available for sale yet. No shit. All right, I love it, man. Beautiful. So we're gonna get the first real. That's excellent. We can either we're either gonna love it or we're gonna hate it. Yeah, if it catches <laughs> fish, I'm gonna love it a lot. If it loses fish, we're gonna hate it a lot. <laughs> I put some water in the bucket to give it a little more tension as the spool pulls out, and I got my rod in this rod holder here. Got the electric reel ready to go, but I ran into a small problem. This battery terminal plug, it does not fit in the back of this reel. So I have to use this. I hope I don't drain too much battery spooling spooling the reel, but I guess we'll see. We There's this measuring device here. We can plug it in. Oh, oh. Plug it in and we see we are 100% charged. So we'll spool it up and then we'll see what kind of charge we have left after that. But you just turned on. That's great. All right, what do we have here? Okay, it says zero, zero. I probably should have read the instruction manual, but this is the power lever. However, 
I think that only works for retrieving line that's gone out because we're currently zeroed out. So I think the lever doesn't work. So we got to push the pickup button. Oh, is there a slower way to do that? Oh, there we go. I got it. So this lever right here controls the speed. Down is slower if I go up. <laughs> the power of electric reels. I'm keeping a little bit of tension on it so it goes on the spool nice and tight. Well, so far it's pretty great. It's almost full. That went really quick. And you can see we got, I believe that's 450 yards on there. I think that's what that means. And you can see the line guide, guiding the line into the reel there. So when you spool up these reels, make sure your line goes through that line guide or else it won't work right. All right, let's see what our battery is at. Well, it still says 100%. So that's pretty good, but I'm gonna put it on the charger just for a little bit longer. This is the charger, just plugs right into the wall. Stick it on, boom bada bing, and it's charging. All right, I think I got everything. We are looking good. All right, you know, I think I think these squid, I think, I think we'll be fine with this pack of squid. Okay, my water. Oh yeah, we got a ballyhoo. Potato chips and a sandwich. Nice, nice. All right, we got plenty of ice. I think we're good. Check out my battery. What the hell is that? It's like one of those. Fuck, I like that. Yeah, you like that? That's supposed to like, like be on you. It goes. Well, it can. Did yes. Did you that too? Yeah. It came with it. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Okay. So I could probably get a couple of these. That's awesome. But yeah, it just plugs right into the back of the thing, or it has a cord, so you could put it in your pocket. I was gonna say a cord, probably, you know. Yeah. And have like a little holder. Yeah, so I'm excited to try this thing out. We'll see how I long see it... what it does, yeah. Let's see how fast it goes. So this is charged. It's 100% charged. Okay. Which beats the heck out of carrying a car battery Hell on the yeah. boat. If that thing lasts a day... Yeah, that's that's what we're going to figure out. Yeah. How many drops do we get out of it? Right. But I just spooled up that whole rod on, on it. On it, okay. And, and it said it still had 100% charge and I just put it on the charger mm -hmm. and after like five minutes, the light was green again. Hmm. So it didn't use that much I power. Put that like on a belt even, you know? Yeah. Okay, all right, I'm impressed so far, just looking at it. Yeah, it feels what good. What people call? PC Fun, what a name. That, looks like a water bottle. If that thing works, then that's amazing because I like the look of it. Yeah. Compact, light. Can go anywhere. Fire in the hole. Fire. Wow! <laughs> Some batteries do explode. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> the boat is loaded down. All the rods are on it. My tackle bag, extra fuel thing, blah, blah, blah. We got it all. Dan's on the boat. <sighs> Ran upstairs real quick. Wow, I'm out of breath. I'm just gonna fill my water bottle up. And then we are heading offshore and we're gonna go to the Key Largo Humps. That's right, not the Isla Mirada Humps. We're going to the Key Largo Humps and we're gonna try some deep driving. <sighs> Sorry, some vertical jigging, and maybe we'll run into some mahi. Okay, I even got me a couple of LaCroix. Woo! All right, looks like the battery sounds powerful. That's for sure. Okay, we got a gaff. We can pitch with this one, we can pitch with this one, we yep. can pitch with that this one. one. All right. We're good to go. Got a feather? Yep, and this one's even got a little bit of wire on it in case, oh, I don't know why, but Mahi don't care if there's wire on it. Don't they, they don't know. I think we're good to go. Okay, these weights might bounce around. Where should I put them? No ah, yes, smart thinking, Dan. In my fancy Yeti bucket. That is a fancy bucket. A very fancy, wow. but even the lid, Oof. just the lid alone, <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, oh wow, drop it down now. <laughs> Holy smokes, we are marking heavy on the bottom. Bottom? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, all right. Wow. Oh, Dan shoot. just Dan, Dan just dropped the vertical jig down. We we're in 230 feet of water. And bottom 
We are marking something down there. 230 feet, fish down there. While Dan does some vertical jigging, I'm gonna prepare the deep drop rod. Prepare the deep dropper. Ooh. Oh, you're on? Oh, baby! As soon as I dropped it. Yes! As soon as I dropped it, dude. <laughs> oh, 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 no! Oh, he's still on there. Okay. Oh, he's a, he's a beast. <laughs> Woo! Woo! First drop fish on already. Man, what, you know, today's already feeling like a good day. It's all about, it's all about <laughs> He's down, listen, he's on the bottom, man. So that could Way be a down. big grouper, a big mutton, maybe? Anything, I, I mean, just no idea. Wow. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully not a bit short. This is a, I don't, I don't, you, I don't think so. I don't know, I can't be a shark. How dare you. <laughs> I saw it, I'm like, drop down now, drop down. He's coming though, right? He's coming. All right, good, good. He's off the bottom. I got the gaff ready. He's getting pissed off, huh? Yep. He's probably, what, more than halfway up? <laughs> hit, hit the bottom. Hit the bottom. Pulled it up Boom. and bang. <laughs> <laughs> I must have hit him on the head. Yeah, you probably did. Hit him right in the eyeball. <laughs> well, I'm going to be very disappointed if we don't hook up on the second drop. <laughs> <laughs> this really set the... The bar high here. The bar is high. Oh, there's color. You got color? Oh yeah. Is that a mutton? Big grouper. <laughs> Big black grouper. No, red. 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 Beast. Beast of a red grouper. Holy smokes! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> First drop down. Look at the size of that guy. Holy smackaroni. Man, I love that jig. <laughs> yeah. All right, I can go home now. <laughs> wow! Whew. Nice gaff shot, by the way. No meat lost on that. Yeah, I gave him a little lip piercing. He is sweet. Wow, that's a big oh, freaking grouper. That's a big red. He is, he's pretty. Nice fish. You wanna let him go or you wanna keep him? <laughs> <laughs> we can let him go. Yeah, you know, he could be our karma fish. He's gonna go all right. Here, um. Man, he is. <laughs> Nothing like the jig, man. Yeah. First, first drop. Very first drop. Echo had a mark. We saw some fish on the bottom. Boom. Fish on. Woo -hoo. Look at that. Fish on. Look at that face. <laughs> Look at these. That's one heck of a way to start the day. <laughs> now we just got to make some room for them. <laughs> now let's see. Do we move my eggs? We move the eggs. We can put them right along the back. What do you think? Shit, Whoops. that egg just broke. Oh, oh god, and the engine's acting up. I'll take care of this, you got it. Why is it doing that? Oh, and it died. Well, my RPMs just spiked, and then the engine died, and I got egg yolk everywhere. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, when it rains, it pours, man. <laughs> the egg yolk. There's just egg yolk everywhere. Like a grouper egg? <laughs> <laughs> You see that, boys? <laughs> oh yeah, that's my banana from yesterday. <laughs> Who says you can't catch fish with banana on the boat? That's right, that's a lucky banana. You can shoot, just don't lay them on the Oh, ground. actually, you know what? what? I'm gonna, so funny, this girl was talking shit to me earlier about me bringing bananas on the boat. Oh yeah? I wanna, I'm oh, gonna, yeah. I wanna hold that grouper up in the banana and say. Uh, <laughs> yeah, put the banana in his mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll be like, hey. What's she telling you, oh, don't bring bananas. <laughs> oh. Perfect. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. oh fuck. God. Oh god, they have those gills. Yeah. I hope my engine still turns back on. All right, we're going to put a chicken rig. These are actually our new chicken rigs. We have the smaller hooks on them now. Cuz I'd like to catch some vermilion snapper. It's a chicken rig. It's a chicken rig. All right, we got five hooks on this chicken rig. One, two, three, four, five. On the bottom, there's a loop, and you loop it through your weight. This is a 32 ounce weight here. Then on the other end of it is another loop, which you just put your snap swivel on. Oh, 
And don't forget a light. So there's my little light. They say no light, no bite. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Light. No light, no bite. I, that's a good name for a reel. Great. <laughs> I got 80 pound braid on there. Braid. It's a beast. I, I could have got away with 40, but it's all I had. That's great. Yeah. That's the best part right there. This right here is the battery. Yeah, what's it called? Pizza, pizza fun? PC fun. PC fun. Look at that. And that's the battery. That's the battery, and it just plugs right into the back of it. That's freaking awesome. Look at that. Good to go. Reels on. P I S. It's a fun. It's a fun. Right, we're gonna see how this thing works because it looks sweet. Yeah, it looks very this nice. This is the first time, right? You have this is my first time using it. Right. This is the, the new company or what? First time? Th new? This is their first electric reel. It's a prototype and we're gonna see. We're just testing it out for them and gonna give them some feedback. Right. Piece of fun. I want one. <laughs> Dan wants one. I want one. <laughs> All right, we're gonna see how it works. I'm gonna cut up some squid. I should probably get this egg yolk off my boat. Hey, this is an organic brush. <laughs> oh, it's working. See, this is why you bring me along. I come up with all the good ideas. All right, we got all the egg yolk off the boat with the help of some seaweed. I should just start using seaweed for all my the kitchen brushes. Instead of a sponge. Yeah, sponges are overrated. Ooh, a fancy sponge. Hmm. Now we're taking our squid chunks and we're putting them on our chicken rig hooks. Yeah, I hope the engine starts. Let's try that. Let's see. Oh, doesn't sound good though. Jeez. You've got to be better. Oh, it is not running good. Oh my God. Yeah, it's shaking real hard. I'm gonna turn it off next time instead of letting okay. it just idle. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First drop on the on the Kraken. The on the Kraken. All right, the first drop might be a little uh, more of a learning lesson for me. You gonna drop your jig down? Yeah, I'm waiting to see something. Hey, okay, got the drag set. And this thing, you push this button, which puts it into free spool. I kind of like that lever action right there. Wow, it is dropping fast. Oh yeah, we're marking stuff on the bottom. We do have a kind of a high current. We're going like two, two and a half knots, or actually miles, miles per hour, 120 yards. 130 yards. It should be hitting the bottom any second now. Oh, boom, we're on the bottom. Okay, this is exciting. You wanna keep feeding it line so it always kinda of sits on the bottom. There's still a ton of line on here. I, I barely use any of that line. I put on a lot. <laughs> I put as much as I could fit on this spool. Oh, I got bites. Oh, are they still on? Did it get off? What happened? I was getting nibbled there. It's getting bit. I had something biting on there. Oh, yeah, there's something. still something down there messing with it. Yeah, the bottom is not looking that good here. Wow, and we just barely missed the f that missed number it. and it, it didn't get hooked up. So you really gotta be right on top of the bottom spot. Oh, I got a fish. <laughs> I think I got a fish on there. First drop, that'd be great. <laughs> wow, this thing is almost too powerful. I'm gonna take some power out of it. Yeah, how do you do that? Through the lever. Oh, okay, okay. You can go fast forward, slower back. It does look like there's a fish on there. There might be a fish on there. That'd be great. There really might be a fish on here. 35 yards, 20 yards, 15 yards. And it stops by itself. That's beautiful. Look at that. So now what? Now you gotta hand crank the rest of it? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Wait, is there not a fish on there? Ha! Well, there's not a fish on there. Well, I still like the look of it, I like the sound of it. Yep, yeah, okay. Now All right, we're, fish later. we're gonna try that again. I don't know my false flags yet that well. Oh, and then, okay, so we went like, and okay, so I'm gonna go a little more this way then. I'm dropping it again. I'm dropping it down. We are in neutral. Oh, and there's seaweed here. I'm gonna turn the engine off. I love, I love that I can just pick up this electric and move it since there's no, it's not, attached to the battery. Yeah, that's sweet. I mean, really, there we go. We got fish on the bottom. Okay, we are marking fish on the bottom. On the oh, and I, it's not over spooling. Oh, because it has this feature on it. It, it won't over spool itself. We're on the spot, right now. Get it down. Oh God, it's going down as fast as it can go. Faster, buddy, there's fish on the bottom. Come on, go, go, go. Faster. It's a race to the bottom. Whoever gets there first gets the first fish. The Kraken X. 
All right, so far, I would say it's a good, good electric reel so far. Oh, am I getting bit? My music just turned on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My music just started playing. I don't understand this oh, boat anymore. <laughs> it's one of those days. I am getting bit. Pause that. I'm getting bit. Look at my tip, it's going like this. <laughs> Dan over here with the that switch, she's... My tip's wiggling. There's gotta be something nibbling on it. I wanna know what's nibbling on it so bad. I love bringing fish up from the deep. Yeah, you never know what it is. Could be a grouper, a toro snapper. Well, I'd say this spot was pretty good for a, a random mark that I just wanted to check. But soon, we're gonna go to the real bottom spots. Then we also saw that one mark once we drifted off of it a bit. A fit. Oh, I just got a good hit. He didn't stick though. That was a thump. I thought I had a fish, but oh yeah. Once we go to like an actual deep drop spot, I think I think we might slam it. We gotta keep an eye out for Mahi too. They might swim right up to the boat. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh! Oh! There's a fish. Oh, 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 look at that. That's a fish, that's a fish. Bam. <laughs> oh, we just marked a fish 100 feet under the boat. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Boom, and we got, oh, oh, dance on. Oh, oh. slam. Whoa. Oh, no. oh. oh. Oh shoot! It's take. Oh, oh god. God, oh god, oh god! Is your drag going out? Yep. <laughs> oh, that's a big fish. <laughs> he was not on the bottom, by the way. This is ex quite exciting. <laughs> oh my gosh! This is great. This is just wonderful. <laughs> I want to know so bad what's on here. Oh! 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 He's taking line. He's, oh, he's going back up. All right, it's at a hundred yards. Or, or, or actually, I don't know what these numbers on here mean. I probably should have read the manual. <laughs> I should have read the manual. All right, it's almost up. Is yours almost up? Okay. Our fish might come up at the same time. Uh -oh. oh, Dan, your fish is right there. What is that? Another grouper? Oh, another big grouper. Here. <laughs> Dang. You want to? You want him or are we going to let him go? Uh, yeah, let's take him. All right. You want to gaff him? Uh, I'll just, I'll grab him. What about yours? Where's yours? All right, I'm, uh, nice. All right. Is he a keeper? Y yeah. 20, 20, right? Oh my god, what is this? What the hell is that? Oh, oh yes! It's a freaking what? Oh god, oh god. Oh Margate? big Margate! Holy crap! Oh he's pretty. Dude, we're catching giants today. Look at him, man. He's pretty. Well there it is. <laughs> Pass a fun. No, what are they? PC fun. PC fun, look at that. It is fun. Yeah, first freaking fish on the new reel. Holy smokes. That's awesome. <laughs> Holy crap. Man, we're slamming them today, brother. Slamming them today. Joey, we missed you, brother. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's a big fish. Look how big he is compared to my hand. All right, I told PC fun I was, yeah, oh yeah, you wanna measure him? On yeah, the cutting, thing over there. yeah, on the cutting board. They only got to be twenty inches, though. Who's that? This guy. The the. I I bet he's I bet he's twenty three inches. I think the chance of him surviving a drop back down is kind of low, so we might as well keep him. Yep. All right, I got my camera. I'm gonna try to take some professional photography here. Oh. Got a cramp in my neck. I was holding a weird position to get the perfect picture angle. My neck cramped up. The things we do for the sport. It's a dangerous sport, you know, high intensity. We just marked some more fish down there. <laughs> There's fish down there. Come on, brother. Damn, this red looks so much smaller after that other one. Yeah, let's measure him. He should be 20. Don't want to be that guy. Zero? Yeah, up against that. Um, um, I mean. Wait, 
wait, look up the. This is the twenty line right there. Yeah. So he's there. I mean. Yeah. I mean, he's, I mean, there, he's, he's legal. I would throw him. You want to chuck him? I you think, think he'll sur You think he'll survive? All right. All right, releasing illegal fish because we are that. We're those kind of guys. We're those kind of guys, you know. We're the karma. We we build our karma. You might have to send him down on the, uh, on the. Um, Was he blown up? The descending device. Yes. Yeah. Whoa! Settle down there, pal. <laughs> Beautiful porgy, or not porgy, margate. <laughs> this reel put in the work. She's a good girl. We were gonna release the grouper, but he's not doing too well, so we're gonna we're gonna throw him in the box. Might as well. Better us eating him than a shark. <laughs> These new circle hooks, awesome. Thumbs up. And here's our boy. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Dan, we haven't even started fishing and our box is already full of fish. What's the limit on these guys? I think it's two, two grouper per person per day. Well, on the bright oh side. <laughs> we got that one at least. He's a little 21 small. inches. Hey, at least we'll be allowed on, uh, um, what was that guy's name that was friends with all the politicians that got Jeff Jeff will be allowed on Jeff Epstein's Island at least since we have a child on the boat <laughs> oh, Bad that's getting edited out you know, Elizabeth's never gonna put up with that <laughs> Why did I blame her? It's, it's a joke. It's a joke. Hey New GoPro battery in already on a second battery. That's how you know the day's going good Whoa. Watch out below. I really like that this reel has a tension setter because then you don't have to keep your thumb on it from over spooling. Tension setter makes sure it doesn't do that bird's nest thing. Because with the Tanacoms, you know how I'm always like holding it with a rag? Yep. Just to prevent the over spooling. I like that better than the Tanacom already. Yeah, we were way off. You want a tuna? Dan's already putting his orders in. Where'd these waves come from? I don't accept. Did you get a hit there? No. Oh, it's just a big old. Yeah. yeah, wow, look look at how much line is going out yeah. just from too much, too much. just from the drift. We're still getting it done though. Three fish in the box. Not even day, afternoon. Come out in the yeah. morning, afternoon, man. I have to get up at six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Who gets up at six in the morning to fish? I think I'm getting nibbles. Yep, yep. I want to see. Over millions. Oh, for millions! Oh, those are delicious little fish. Those rosies were delicious. Those rosies were great. I really liked them. Boy, the wind has picked up a lot. Yeah, and that's gonna make our drift, I think, even faster. Wow, than look at it. we're drifting three and a half miles an hour right oh, now. Because we got the wind and the current. Jeez, that is crazy amount of drift we're dealing with. I still managed to hit the bottom, but you got there. You know, I'd like to put like some sea deck along here so I could put my knees on it. Yep. I'm already all scratched up. Wow, I can't hold bottom with this drift. Oh, we're rolling. Rolling. Well, if the drift is this crazy, we might have to go to that like 130 foot bottom where the black grouper and reds are. All right, we just spotted three frigate birds over there and the current's ripping. So we decided we're just gonna troll a dive plug and a weedless squid rig, Barbie pink. Maybe we can get a bite. Yeah, that means they're, they're watching something. That dive plug might be a little annoying though with all this little weed here. Wow, this wind. This is crazy, isn't it? Oh, it says I have zero oil. Okay, note to self, fill your oil before you go offshore. <laughs> so you don't have to do it offshore. Should have done this before it got all wavy. All right, got all of it in there. Well, the weedless squid rig is way out there now. Waves 
are picking up. Some big ones. Ooh, that wind. The wind is picking up. Yeah. Oops. I got the electric reel all salty. <laughs> yeah. I hope it can handle it, but it should be able to. I think I need a fish on the other side, though. Down it goes. <laughs> what? It's just constant rocking. Maybe I should buy a sea keeper. I could get a sea keeper on the LTB. It's only 24 extra thousand dollars. Oh, we just sparked some fish about halfway down. We got some video. Exciting, they got their video. They got, they got, yeah. Well, it's too windy to hold the bottom. Oh my, what was that? Huh, I don't know. I wonder if my GoPro got that. I just saw the splash. Uh -huh. Maybe a king? Yeah, probably a king or something. Like wow. All right. I'm excited to go home and see how much percentage yeah. is left on this battery. That, that battery alone is a home run. I mean, I just like the way that the, yeah. the profile is amazing. Like nothing. Yeah, it looks like a little like energy drink. Boom! We are back at the dock. We survived the treacherous journey back. Very treacherous. That wind came out of nowhere. Ooh, that guy's got sharp gills. Yeah. He got me good multiple times. This little guy. Yeah, a little one for some reason. Yeah, the knife deal. Yeah, that would look good sticking out of my leg, wouldn't it? It would look good. Dun 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 dun. Here's fish number one, the stud muffin. Here's a couple of bags with some ice in them. My bees are buzzing hard. Mm-hmm. They're extremely active right now. They're probably making me honey. You don't have the thing on, dude. The what? You don't have your super on. Yeah, no, I gotta put that on. Oh yeah, it's a big old little grouper steak you got there. Oh boy, this knife is not sharp. Is your knife sharp? Uh, Medium. Okay. Yeah, it's, mine is very subpar. Not out here. I do upstairs, but. This is a blunt knife. I, uh... <laughs> Mess we're real professionals here. <laughs> <laughs> nope, we're not doing so hot. See, it's probably my fault. I keep leaving these knives out, so I never bring them inside. I just leave them out here in the in the weather. Yeah, rust is not. Really good. Yeah, groupers, very. The ambulance. Yeah, in yeah not a good sound. Mm. Whoo! Somehow managed to get that off with a rusty knife or a, not a rusty knife, but a, literally not a sharp knife at all. Little dull. Yes, a little dull indeed. Nope, not gonna get my hand. Hey buddy, ooh, big yawn, smell my hand fish, right? You want some? You're gonna have to come with me. But I need a stone sharpener. Buddy, Elliot, come here. Come on. All right, I got a sharpening stone. Do you like the soft or the hard side more? Or the roughers? I'm not sure how to do this either. Like, They're supposed to be wet stones. I gotta wet this one. What am I doing with this, by the way? I don't know how these sharpening stones work.
I mean, it got sharper. Yeah, that one's really dull. And that's after I just kind of sharpened it. Let me have it for one second. It makes it easier to go through this. Because you know, the flay so long. What is it stuck on? Well, that might have been one of the more unprofessional filleting. Oh, the worst of my life. Yeah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not proud of this one. <laughs> I just went upstairs. Why did I grab a knife sharpener when I could have grabbed 40? Oh, no. I have 40 sharp knives up there. Could have just grabbed. Oh man. <laughs> and I grabbed the stone that I've haven't used in four years. Something like that. Yeah. I mean, it looks that looks right. There's still another grouper in there. <laughs> <laughs> These fish have a very weird bone. Where's Elliot? I got a piece of fish for him. Buddy, where you at, buddy? He's watching us. I see him over there. Or the water is scaring him. Yeah, you want to try it in? I'm not saying it's going to be any better, but... Oh, actually, maybe. Try it. All right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's sharper. It? Yeah. It's not razor blade sharp though, but... No. Sorry, it's not razor blade sharp. <laughs> <laughs> I send it back. Mr. Picture Taker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I still got the other one on the deck, by the way. I tried to sharpen that one a little bit. I'll poke his eyes out. I'll take him down there. He must have an air bubble in there. Oh, I. Oh, he's bubbling. Yeah, get down there, boy. All right, the fish are clean. Dan just left. I gotta say, we whacked the fish right off the bat. You'd think we are almost professionals, but then you watch us clean some fish with some dull knives, and all that professionalism goes right out the window. <laughs> But um, got the boat cleaned. Everything's looking good. Mm, the PC Fun battery. I am super curious how much juice is left on this thing. So we'll check it out. That was some tough vertical jigging. With three to four mile an hour current, it's just kind of ridiculous. Normally I would never deep drop with current ripping that hard, but I really wanted to test the reel out, so we did it anyways. Let's see. What? Wait. How is that still at 100%? That's crazy. I said I was gonna step up my game. So here we are. We're gonna do a white Margate verse red grouper, and I'm gonna line this little pan with some lemon. Then we're gonna put the fish on there and then we're gonna put a little drizzle on top. So I need to cut more lemons. Now we're gonna make a drizzle. And for that, we're gonna take a nice chunk of butter, nice big chunk of butter. And then we're gonna mince all this garlic right here. Chop it up. Look at all that minced garlic. Mm, okay, pour that on top of the butter. Then we're also gonna take our garlic and onion seasoning. Remember, you can get this, SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com. You can get our seasonings. Support the channel. These are blended in Florida. Some of the best stuff you'll taste. And we'll take this, we'll microwave it. Let's grab the fish. Wow. Okay, this right here, that is the white Margate. Where's a piece of that grouper? Okay, that's... That's the white Margate. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah. Okay, 
So the grouper, this is the red grouper on the right. It's a little lighter in color. The white margate is a little pinker, a little more bloody. I probably should have bled these fish when I caught them, but I think they'll be okay. Okay, there's a couple of bones right there. So I will just trim these pieces so they'll, we wanna be able to fit one of each. Let's do a little experiment. So the fish on the right, this little pile, that's the red grouper. And then this fish on the left, that is the white margate. Grouper on the right, margate on the left. Come here, buddy. Which one? Okay, he smelled both of them. Oh, oh, he's eating the grouper. You don't want the margate? You want the margate? Oh, he's eating the margate. What about the grouper? Uh, we'll see which one he finishes first. This is our new lemon pepper seasoning. And we'll give our fish just a little drizzle of that. Okay, so that's the grouper. And we will lay it right in there, just like that. Right on top of the lemon slices. And this is our margate, which we'll do the same exact seasoning, our lemon pepper, both sides. Here's our melted butter, garlic and onion seasoning and the uh, minced garlic. So we'll take our brush and we will brush it on top. I'm, I'm just gonna pour it on there, you know. Let's go, let's go hard, woo! Okay, that <laughs> might have been a little too hard there. That is a lot of garlic. I'm gonna brush some of it off of these fish fillets. Our oven is preheated to 425. We'll stick this beautiful thing in there. Hold on, let's get some real footage of that. Stick it in the oven for 15 minutes. I'll probably check it after 12 minutes and we're just gonna cook it until the until a fork easily goes through the to the fish fillets and then we'll know they're done. And look what Elliot did here. <laughs> Elliot, where are you at, buddy? Hey, there you are. You left one of each piece. You can't be serious about that, right? What? You're gonna you're gonna leave us hanging like that? I was hoping you'd pick a favorite, but you literally just left one of each. So, turns out the cat, Elliot, likes both fish equally. I don't know what to make of this. It's been 15 minutes, let's take a look at our fish. Can't tell if that's done. And the best way to find out, bring it up here. Got a fork. Ah, uh, nope. The fork doesn't go through it that easily, so could probably use another, maybe like four minutes. Okay, four minutes later. Fork test. Oh yeah, fork goes through it, no problem. We know that's ready, and we'll let that cool down. If you're wondering what I'm doing over here, doing a little bit of meal prep, that's gonna be one meal. We also gonna do a little slow cooking. I have found that life is much more bearable when I cook a massive amount of food in one day, in one sitting, and then I prep it up into these containers and I have all my meals for the rest of the week done. And I don't have to worry about dishes and cooking every day and all that stuff. This is much easier. But damn, look at that. And we're gonna finish this dish off with a fresh lemon squeeze right on top of our fish. Just a little drizzle. Oh, all right, let's give it a try. That's hot. Okay, the thing is still hot. This right here is the grouper. I think we should start with a nice chunk of grouper. Oh, look at that, flaky, soft. Still steaming. All right, red grouper, here we go. Gratitudes of Dan. Mmm. Ooh, wow. The perfect lemon zest. It's not too salty either. Let's try the white margate. And then we're gonna see which one I like to more. 
Look at this steam coming off of that. Ooh. All right. This is gonna be tough. I'm gonna have a few bites of each. All right, the grouper is softer. This is the grouper. Margate. The Margate is definitely a slightly firmer fish. Which one do I like more? Okay, I think I like the grouper more. In a blind taste test, I probably couldn't tell you the difference be because they're so heavenly, heavenly, hev hev heavily seasoned, but it is heavenly, heavily, heavenly seasoned. I think both are excellent fish. If you catch either one, put it in the box. It's worth bringing home and cooking. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode on the South Florida Fishing Channel. Hope you learned something. It was good taking my boat out again with Dan on it. What do you guys want to see me do next? Leave a comment below. Please hit the like button and I'll see you guys on the next fishing episode. Cheers.